Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's a little late this morning. It's it's 9 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I put it, I put, I've been thinking long and hard about a few things. This is what I want to talk about. Donald Trump, uh, some name calling again. Donald Trump called Mitt Romney, I forgot the first part, but a loser, a world-class loser or something along those lines, but a loser. Made me think. Uh, Trump is very... It goes back to my video yesterday. I talked about projection and fear. You know, calling somebody a name is usually a very transparent thing where it's something the person fears that they themselves are. And, I mean, without a doubt, look, look at Donald Trump and the election. This last election is an example. This man cannot accept the fact forever six months later and he's still insisting he won you know so the term loser and winner are extremely i don't know what his father did to him or told him or what you know what he went through as a kid but obvious donald trump obviously has a very uh, serious issue with winning and losing all right. Also, I want to talk about this. If I have time, I want to talk about, again, Donald Trump called the winner of the Kentucky Derby the horse because this horse supposedly uh, tested positive for a anti-inflammatory, I believe, a steroid possibly. And Donald Trump labeled the horse a junkie and said the whole rest of the world is laughing at us and the world, uh, our country is going to hell because of this, because the Kentucky Derby horse, the winner of the Kentucky Derby, tested positive for an anti-inflammatory. Seriously. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me start this off. I was going to label this. I, I still might label this video. I am a loser. You know, I started the only way I... You know, I have to look at myself, you know, first of all, the terms winner or loser. I, I started thinking, am I, you know, do I consider myself a winner? Do I consider myself a loser? And honestly, I was going to label this video, I am a loser. Let me, let me just break it down and say this. Um, both those words are kind of pointless to me. They're kind of meaningless. They're irrelevant to me. I mean, as long as I'm breathing and I'm above ground and I'm still alive, the, the battle, the game, the effort isn't over. Uh, to me, it's very presumptuous. I, I've learned a long time ago never to assume that you won anything. So, like with recovery, um, this, is, this is a reason why we, I, I learned not to ever be too cocky and say, you know, claim that I won uh, I, I won the battle of addiction or, or whatever, because then you start, you start softening the edges and say, maybe say New Year's comes around and some, I'm in a room with some pretty ladies and one of them pulls out some party favors. And that's the moment when, well, I won, I won my battle of addiction. So, you know, there's no problem with me taking a little, indulging a little bit. Cause I, you know, I won, I can handle it. That's when you lose. That is when you lose. In the words of Steven Tyler, you have to lose to know how to win. Dream on. You have to lose to know how to win. <laughs> I'm not a good singer. I am a loser when it comes to singing. All right. But seriously, um, this is one of the things that makes me really believe that the differences between Trump supporters, the people that support Donald Trump still to this day, and people like me and maybe you, a lot of you guys and the rest of us, is it, it's it's a lot deeper than political. Like when I talked about yesterday about name calling, and with this subject right here, I think there's a big difference in the way we view life and we the way we view a lot of things. I think it's uncovered a a, a big difference in people, and it's not just political. Um. Losing. I, I would be more, if I had to call it, say, am I a winner or a loser? I, I would be more likely to call myself a loser. Because when you lose, you, you come away with something. You come away with a lesson. Uh, like I talked, in, I talked about in another video. When, uh, you know, I, I lost a lot of fights. And it makes you a better, it makes you better at it. Uh, when you're in a debate, if you lose a debate, you learn. You come away with something. When you win, it's a boost to your ego, which most of a lot of the time really isn't a good thing. Um, all right, so looking at my life, uh, I spent 20 years of my life, I wasted it in addiction. So am I a loser? But then 14 years, I've had 14 years of recovery where I have accomplished things that I could never believe I could have accomplished. 
I started painting. I actually sold three paintings this weekend, a set of three black and white abstracts. I delivered them, my, I delivered them myself to the northwest corner of Connecticut yesterday. And uh, it's like it's it's like giving away my kids. But anyway, you know, uh, I became a successful painter. I got monetized here on YouTube. Uh, I lost 90 pounds. I got into fantastic shape, you know, so am I what I can see? You know, to me, it's just it's a it's a point. It's pointless. It's, it's irrelevant, you know, labeling somebody a winner or calling myself a winner or a loser. This is what I can tell you guys. I can tell you guys that I am truly happy. I am truly grateful. And I don't mean just today. Um, I think this is common with people that have people that have had cancer, people that have gotten in car, uh, car accidents, near-death experiences, addiction, people that have lived the bad side of life, the people that people that have almost had life slip away from them. Uh, a lot of times you get a lot more relevance. You, 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 you know, your priorities change, you know, I, like I heard this, this quote, uh, whoever has the most toys wins. Did you ever hear that? You know, the people that always like, like usually a lot of times Trump supporters will have, you know, boats and cars and somebody like Donald Trump to them. That's, that's winning. Um, you know, but when, say when you're on your deathbed and you're, you know, and, uh, you got five minutes left in this world, how important are those cars sitting in a driveway somewhere? Or how important is that boat sitting in the lake somewhere or the money in the bank? Um, I think the way I, this way of thinking with me personally goes all the way back to my whole life, even before I, addiction, my high school yearbook, the quote I put in there was, uh, it was a Pink Floyd quote. Um, all you touch and all you see is all your life will ever be experiences. To me, one of the most important things right now is being present with my loved ones, with my relatives every day. You know, as I get older at 55, you know, how many more years do I have left? 10, 20, 30 years. So what is important to me? Um, seeing as much as I can, feeling as much as I can. Money, money is part of that, I suppose. Is It's a means to 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 get that. But boats and cars and like Donald Trump and uh, admirers, to me, that's irrelevant. So maybe I'm a loser. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I think if Donald Trump met me, actually met me the person, I, I'm sure I'm sure I'd be a loser in his book. If you ever saw my videos, because of course you'd have to say that. And again, this, you know, when you you don't put very much relevance on those words. To me, those words are really irrelevant. I mean, what is, to me, like I said, being happy, being happy at the end of the day is more important than winning or losing anything. And the battle is not over. You know, the battle is never over. And not just with addiction or whatever, but just the daily life. It's, it's an ongoing learning experience. And I, maybe it's superstition, but I just do not feel comfortable ever saying that I, oh, I'm a winner, you know, because tomorrow, as we all know, things could change and they do change. So uh, I'm happy, I'm confident, and I can, I believe I can handle anything that comes down the road. And to me, that is the most important. So winning and losing, I really don't get it. All right, now moving on to uh, Trump labels the horse a junkie. Like I, like I said before, first of all, it, it was, I don't even know if this is confirmed. The, 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 the wind still stands. It, it wasn't like it was in any kind, any kind of adrenaline or uh, something that would influence his speed as far as I could see. I believe it was a steroid or an anti-inflammatory. All right, so the word junkie, as I well know, having been a heroin addict, uh, heroin is called junk or back in the 60s or 70s more than, but it's junk. So junkie specifically refers to an opiate or heroin. When you call somebody a junkie, I call them, I've call myself a, uh, I was a full-blown heroin junkie and I'm in recovery. And that, that's something I am, I, I, I make a point of saying that. And again, it's to emphasize, I, I can't forget where I came from and how bad things were before. The minute I start softening those edges is the minute, it, the time I relapse. But anyway, 
But then Trump went on to say that the whole rest of the world is laughing at us because of this. Because the horse that won the Kentucky Derby had steroids in its system. The whole rest of the world is laughing at us. Biden's America is a failure. This is, look, he, he really said this. Ah, uh, you know, how do you even respond to that? It makes no sense. None of, none of it makes any sense. His terminology is wrong, junky. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it, it's not even in this realm of reality, really. Uh, that the world is laughing at us because of this. So, once again, uh, I, I really think it's, again, like I said yesterday, him calling this horse a junkie and trying to use it to somehow uh, speak badly of the current president or Democrats. It, it, it speaks more about Donald Trump, again. You know, calling Mitt Romney a loser. I think that speaks about Trump's own fears of losing. And junkie, who knows? Who knows? Um, I think it's something in Trump's head because to the rest of us, it really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. All right, you guys have a great Monday. I'll be back later with another video.